right, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In, in, our, in, this class, in this session, we are going to consider how to tell the time. So we're going to use the 12 hour clock in this session to demonstrate it. So the first thing we need to understand is, um, um, is the hands, what do you call the hands that, that are found in the clock. We have the minute hand, the long hand, and the, the hour hand, which is the short hand. So with these two, um, we can use it to tell the time. Though there is a third one, which is called the second hand. So, but these two are very important. So we are going to make use of these two. So when the minute hand, the minute hand is very, very important. When the minute hand is on 12, it is called o'clock. Now, this part of the clock, this part of the clock is called the past. Past. Helps you to give it past time. Why this other half of the clock is called, uh, it's used to understand, give the two, two. Then, this point, at this point, it's called 15 minutes past, 5, 10, 15. 15 minutes past is called quarter past. Quarter past. Because it's on the past side. Uh, in the same vein, this is um, quarter two. Quarter two. While here is half past. Half past half past all right so as it is where the long hand is on 12 and the short hand is on two, is pointing at two you can see this is two o'clock two o'clock it is o'clock because the long hand is pointing at 12 so and anytime the long hand is on is at 12 exactly like this and the short hand is pointing at any part of the time you can say if it's pointing at one, for instance, it's called one o'clock. It's pointing at two as it is right now. It's called two o'clock. If it's pointing at three, it's called three o'clock. And it continues like that. So that's how to understand o'clock. Now let's go to past. Past time. We can make use of this clock. If um, we have something like this, this is the long hand pointing at three and the short hand pointing at um, uh, not really four, uh, pointing uh, a little bit after four, then you can, we can say that this is um, this the time now, we can say that the time now is 15 minutes past four 15 minutes past four because um this is on the past the long hand the long hand here is on the past side and um the short hand is is moving away from four remember it is it is better we understand how the clock works the clock moves in clockwise direction let's uh, look at this the clock moves in clockwise direction clockwise movement so clockwise movement so the clock moves like this it moves like this that's why it is clockwise so the opposite of clockwise is anti-clockwise but the clock does not moves at the clock does not move anti-clockwise moves clockwise so it must move like this and goes like this so when it comes like this does not pass the time the hour time then it's, it's then it's going when it crosses the half past then it's going towards so it's going to so this is the movement of the clock clockwise movement very important so understanding that clockwise movement and applying it here you discover that is 15 minutes 15 minutes from from 12 to 1 from 12 to 1 is 5 minutes from 1 to 2 is 10 minutes from 2 to um 3 is 15 minutes. So it's 15 minutes past four. 15 minutes past four. And we can, that's how it works. So we can also have similar thing for telling time when it is two. 
we can also have similar thing for time when this is so for we can have something like this where the long hand is pointing at 11 and the short hand is pointing uh, almost at 9 but not exactly 9 yet so we can say because this side is the two side so the two the, the left hand part of the left half of the time of our clock is called the two side while the right half is called the past so we can say this is from here to here is five five minutes to nine is this is tending towards nine because there's a clockwise movement moves like this so this short hand now is moving towards nine why if we're, we're counting from here remember our count must come from start from 12 that o'clock so if you are going to if you are talking about the past, it's like this. You count from here, 5, 10, 15. If you are going for the 2, you count from here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So like that, like that. So in this particular, so this is from here, counting from here now. It is 5, so it's 5, 5 minutes to 9. 5 minutes to 9. So that is it. So that's how to tell the past, uh, how to tell the time. When it is one o'clock, when it is uh, the hour time, like one o'clock, when it is past the hour, uh, like um, uh, the one we considered here, 15 minutes past four. This 15 minutes past four is also called, this 15 minutes past four is also, you can call it because 15 minutes is called also called quarter past, quarter past four. Uh, similar here, similarly, uh, uh, if we have it, if the long hand is in this direction, for instance, you have um, the long hand pointing at 9, and um, you have this, um, maybe you have something like this, the short hand is here, then you can see quarter to quarter to 10 quarter to 10 so quarter to 10 or 15 minutes to 10 here it is 15 minutes past 4 or quarter past 4 here it is 5 10 15 15 minutes to 10 or quarter to 10 so when the long hand is on 12 and the short hand is on any of the time it is called like as it is now it is called 12 i mean it's called two o'clock two o'clock so we now we can now can tell um, in uh, we now can tell the time when it is one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock when it's at the hour and when it has passed the hour like um uh, five minutes past ten minutes past fifteen minutes past and uh, and when it's going um, maybe in the other half which is um, two as it is here where we have um, five minutes two so when the longer hand is here it will, it will be 10 minutes to, if the long hand is here, it will be quarter to, if the long hand is here, it will be um, 20 minutes to 9, as it is. So, so I believe with this, uh, we are now um, um, conversant with how to tell the time, how to tell simple time. Uh, to summarize, we said we have o'clock, the, 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 the right half is called the past, and the left half is called quarter. Then the, the the when it is on six, it's called half past. So imagine that this 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 the long hand is here. If the long hand is here, then it is called you can say half past two, half past two, half past two. But if it is here, it's called two o'clock. Then we the, the, the then when it is on this side, it's called past. If it's on three, it is called quarter past. And when it is here, it's called two. And if it's on nine, it's called quarter two. So that's how it works. Thank you. I believe you've gotten value for your time. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video. Thank you.